Can you tell me about the features of the Sportster? Sure. The Sportster is all about living your dreams, being on the open road without a care in the world. I want to know about the technical and engineering features. Oh, well our bikes have many features. This one has a lot of chrome. This one has the engine blacked out. You can get them in many different colors. The wheels are different on some models. Have you seen the chrome? I was looking for features on the bike that are related to handling, acceleration and braking. Wow. I have never been asked those hard questions before. My customers are only concerned about cosmetic features like chrome and loud pipes. We have a whole line of accessories for our bikes to make them shinier and louder. Is that the Screaming Eagle stuff that is all over the t-shirts and hats that you have? Do the parts actually improve performance? Yes, our Screaming Eagle line is what those t-shirts have on them. We also have stickers, leather jackets and children's clothes. Would you like to try any of it on? No. I want to know if the Screaming Eagle parks improve performance. Well, I think so. I know that the bikes sure are louder. And loud means fast, right? At least that is what all of my customers think. And you can put a Screaming Eagle sticker on your bike so everyone knows it is fast. Can you give me some examples of performance changes with the new exhaust? What does the dyno show? What is a dyno? Are you serious? I think that you are going to have to wait for our engineer to answer your questions. He is due back later today. He is driving the St. Louis to Milwaukee train. We have a real engineer, not fake ones like all of the other motor bike companies. Their engineers can't even drive a train. I don't even know why they call themselves engineers. You have an actual train engineer designing your motorcycles. No wonder your engine technology hasn't changed for 50 years. You are still relying on air-cooled, push-rod V-twin engines. Your engineer probably thinks that these bikes are really fast compared to his train. Have you seen the V-rod? It is a revolutionary bike with water cooling. We had many different people help us on this bike. We had to go to Porsche to have them help us with the engine because no one else closer could help us. I saw a documentary about that. I was surprised that it was newsworthy that you were designing a water-cooled engine. I mean, every other motorcycle and car company had been designing liquid-cooled engines for at least 50 years at that point. The V-Rod is fast. It is a real performance bike. It may be fast, but it is 8 feet long, and weighs about 800 pounds. Did your engineer even think of trying to make a bike that would turn? You would have to have an empty lot to get the thing turned around. The engineer said that it is way lighter than his train, and it handles a little better also. Why don't you test ride a few of the bikes while you wait for the engineer? I just heard the train whistle, so he should be back soon.